Hey, welcome back to Five Lakes Garage. Today we're gonna do something really quick. And I'm serious this time. It is actually gonna be really quick. One of the questions that I get sometimes is how do you check the compression in a two-stroke engine? So I have a, a tool over here. I'm gonna show you that. And then we're just gonna test all six uh, pistons or cylinders to find out what the compression is and see if it's actually at least close to what specs us. This thing's a 1986. It's got some age on it. The boat's a 76. It's an 86. So let's get this case off. We're gonna pull the plugs and then uh, we're gonna go ahead and put the, the tester on there and see which, how, ah. Put the tester on, check out each cylinder and see where we're at. Look at that beautiful thing. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching the show. Hey, if you need to get some outdoor speakers, indoor speakers, whichever, go ahead over to uh, Hindui and go ahead and get you 10% off. But if you need some LED lights for your trucks, your tractors, whatever, go over to Exito and get you 15% off. All the promo codes are down in below. Don't forget to let the, hit the like. Don't forget to hit the subscribe. And we'll catch you later. Enjoy the show. I got to clean up. All right. So we have the 115 Tower of Power, baby. First thing you're going to do is make sure all the plug connections. Now, the good thing is, is that you can't really screw this up. One goes top, one goes to the bottom. Now, if you really want to to make sure you put them in the right location you can go ahead and mark them i'm gonna go ahead and mark them just because uh, i can there we go all right got them marked let's go ahead and pull these guys off and that bottom one's a doozy anyway uh the main reason why we want to take all six start spark plugs out is because when we are going to crank it over using the uh, starter we want to make sure that one it doesn't crank over which doesn't have any fuel in it it's not going to crank over but we just don't want it to uh, have any restriction when we actually do the test now i gotta get a wrench to get way down there because like i said number six sucks so the good thing about taking the plugs out is that you get to inspect them look at that that looks pretty darn good I don't have my glasses on, but it still looks pretty good. So I'm going to leave those out in order on which I actually pull them off just to be able to keep track of which cylinder is looking and doing what. Not too bad. Two. Mm. Hate number six. I think I said that already. They all look about the same. Looking good. All right. Now, this is the tool that I'm talking about here. Now this is just a compression tester. Now I've used, I've had this thing for years, and if you really look at it, it's all corroded because I um, had it out when I was hitting with some uh, carb clean. Got it on the face, but it's okay. We can actually look at it. So what we're gonna do is find some room. I got the room, man. All right, so there's a couple of ways that you can actually do this. One, you can just hook the uh, gauge right up to these guys which is like a quick connector, which is just like you have in your air, air truck. Maybe, there we go. So you can just sit there and just hold it on there and hold it while somebody else cranks it. I'm by myself, can't do that. So these are not being used. So other things they have in the kit, on the kit is that they have some uh, little adapters. You find out which one actually fits your application and it has little rubber O-rings on there to keep it sealed. So now that will fit into the spark plug hole. All right, so what this is actually going to do is as it goes up there, it's going to build pressure and that needle should not drop until you hit the button on the side and it will go for the maximum amount of uh, compression that we have in that cylinder. So I'm going to hook this guy up. There we go. See if I can figure out a way of tying this up so you can see it. All right, sometimes you gotta improvise. That's what we got. All right, turn the key. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go get the key. Got him. All right, we're looking at, let's see, about a hundred. Push the button, let the pressure out. We're gonna try number two. Now, ideally, all of these should be the same. 
Yeah, about a hundred. Yep. <laughs> All right, so each one is right around 100 to 105. That's kind of about right where you really want to be. Um, every one of them is pretty darn close to being the same all the way down for all six cylinders If you're gonna go buy an engine you're gonna go buy a boat This is a very good test that this kit does not cost much money at all um, Ask the owner say hey, can I do a compression test? That's gonna check a lot of your rings your valves your uh, well, it's a two-stroke does not have too many valves, but It will check a lot of things that are the condition for your engine if you're at 110 on one 150 on the other and like 40 all right walk away that's gonna have to do some major uh surgery to that engine because your rings are probably gonna be bad your cylinder head may have be a crack in it maybe a crack it's you're losing pressure somewhere and uh unless you really want to dive into that one you probably want to walk away but anyway that was a quick thing about just checking your cylinder pressure hopefully this helps and go ahead and do it on your next project or on a potential project to see if it's actually worth doing so anyway i want to put this thing back together i'm gonna to need to get the cover on get it in the back so i can go fishing a little bit later yep